Shalom, and welcome to the Shalem Video Podcast, Episode 7. In this episode, we'll visit a few of our students in their Israeli experience placements. Our first stop will be to Kibbutz Stay Eliyahu, which will be followed by a visit to the Naval Cadet Program and our students who spent a week volunteering at an army base in the Golan Heights. We will then go to the fire station in Petach Tikva for a tour with Ronen Samuels, and we'll conclude with Yom Ha'atzma'ut celebrations here in Yerushalayim. Our first stop, Kibbutz Stay Eliyahu. Welcome to the laundry room. I'm gonna get a towel. Then you fold it again, like this. And then make sure it's arm length apart. And then we put it on the rack. And it goes like this. And that is how you fold a towel. Chickens for Shabbos. And you've got the chicken about to be prepared for Shabbat. And then that's where they cook soups and sauces and rice and schnitzel. You got some eggs. <laughs> some harbay. Many. So here we're standing at the center of Kibbutz De Eliyahu. Over here to my left, we have the Khadr Ochel, which serves as a multi-purpose hall. And that's where most of our jobs are, in the kitchen or setting up tables. And if you swing all the way around, you see our wonderful, nice new Beit Knesset. Very nice and very new. This is our petting zoo. This is where we like to spend our time. We come and show the animals. These are our morning alarms. Ah! My favorite part is, is the Jewish atmosphere. I really like how everyone is, walks around with a kippah, tzitzit. Everyone's also really friendly. They always, they always want to know where you're from, like how do you like Israel. Um, I worked in the fields for a week. Uh, we planted sweet potatoes. It was a uh, hard tiring, rewarding labor. I enjoyed it. Next, we'll join the members of our Dakar Naval Cadet Program, who spent a week in the Golan volunteering at an army base. Let's take a look. We're in the Golan Heights right now. We're about to start painting, painting our next boxes red boxes. instead of green. Ah, okay. Not, 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 on, not on the middle, not on the middle staples. Yeah, we did this last time. Okay. Oh, the, the last time? Yeah. We just opened them, put them together, and painted half of them. <laughs> the green part. I love it. It's amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Why? When we're at the school, we feel like we're at home. Last year, we learned how to sail. Yeah. I was really excited. All the, all the, like, Technology that we're learning is in Hebrew. So when we come back to the States, I would know everything in Hebrew, but nothing in English. He put his arm, you know, when he does that, he like puts his arm around you and he like like holds you like really close. Mm -hmm. And he says to me, he says, he says, Tal, he says, why can't every group that you send us be like this group? He said, he's like, you don't understand, the, the, the reservists, the Midlumenikim, they come here, they see that everything is clean, everything is painted, everything is neat, everything is in like the right place. And he says, the same way they receive it, that's the way they put it back. If they come and they see that, like I've come to, I've done reserve duty, I've done, done duty in the army, where they put us on a base and it looks like this. Here, you're sleeping. That's it. And we have to like take the cardboard and make like a broom out of it and like sweep it all up and you know like so that we can sleep here. I painted the spider and then it got stuck in my paintbrush. And, did you and then I lost the it. It's still chilling with the paintbrush. Paint in our next segment, we'll visit Ronan Samuels at the fire station in Petach Tikva. So this is the lounge where we usually just come in in the afternoon and sit and talk to the Tzofim. Here we're in the fireman's lounge. 
to hang out outside when it's nice out. Sheikh, let's continue to the trucks. As we continue to the trucks, we see all the different kinds of trucks. There's the 20 that they're working on. Again, it's pretty similar to the 8, and that's what goes out to normal fires. This building right here, if you continue with me on the left, is what they call the practice building, where uh, I've actually never seen them practice on it, but they, yeah, they claim they practice on it, going up and down the building, getting people out of there as quick as possible. We did a pretty, pretty cool exercise with hoses. They timed us yesterday and saw how fast we can. And the Americans actually did it faster than Sophia, so that's something we're very proud of. Just pretty much learning everything on the trucks, all the different equipment, how to attach the hoses, using the foam and stuff. It's pretty interesting. Interacting with the uh, actual Israelis, Israeli firefighters, the Tzofim, learning. I think you can learn a lot about Israeli society working here. No, these Tzofim are Israelis at around the age of uh, 15 through 18, before the army. And I guess they volunteer as well. I really like it. Petak uh, was a really nice area, nice people. It's, uh, it's nice, it's nice. These are the jackets we have to grab before going out on a fire. We each have to take a jacket and a helmet. They're pretty cool if you ask me. Boots uh, we should be wearing at all times. I'm just, uh, I should be wearing them right now. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely been fun. A lot of training, fun, it's good stuff. Thanks for the tour, Ronan. And in our final segment, we'll join Shalem at their Seuda Chagigit in honor of Yom Ha'atzma'ut here in Yerushalayim. The next thing I wanted to say was something that I found interesting, a little personal experience, something that kind of opened my eyes and made me thankful that I was in Israel. So one morning I was riding in the ambulance and we heard on the radio a uh, weather forecast. And it was for the Negev, it was for every part of Israel. And then at the end, the broadcaster said, Boker Tov Yisrael. And I just thought that that was so cool because nowhere else would you hear on the radio, Boker Tov Yisrael, Boker Tov, this one big country. Everywhere it's little countries, it's little places, but in Israel we're all one nation. If we read the Torah and we read the book of Devarim, it is absolutely impossible to read the book of Devarim and to fulfill the mitzvot in the book of Devarim without an independent Jewish state. But the question is, if we look at Medina Israel today, when we look at Medina Israel, it seems very far from Rav Cook's um, vision. And Rav Cook said, it's Yisod Kisei Hashem of Olam. It's God's presence. Then we look around us, and we see the corruption, and we see that it is run by a secular government. The final source that I want to bring is another quote from Rav Cook from Orata Torah. We have to believe in ourselves, we have to believe in God's hashkacha, we have to see God's hand in history, redeeming us as a nation, redeeming us individually. We have to also believe in Amisra and Medinat Yisrael, that we have the opportunity to go forward and we can carry God's basura, we can carry the Geula. How can anyone not say hala with a bracha on your matzmoth? On all the redemption, the same for the walls, the safe haven for the Jews, the economy, the independence, the Kiddush Hashem, and all the amazing, wonderful things that have happened, the Chassidim that God has done with us. So, once again, I bless you and bless me back that we should carry that soul and that beacon, and we should bring the Geula, that extra step closer, through our actions and what we do and how we celebrate Yom Atzmud and how we make it to the Kaddosh Baruch Hu. Chag Samad. That's it for this episode. As always, make sure to check out our blog at shalem.livejournal.com. In our next episode, we'll be visiting more of our Israel Experience placements throughout the country. From Yerushalayim, I'm Yehoshua Korin, Kol Tuv.